Well, I'm really excited to welcome to the stage uh, Mackenzie Brookshire. Powerhouse. Whoa. This is scary. Oh, <laughs> shit. I hope you're all drunk. I hope you've drank a lot. Um, you can go to my first slide. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to talk about. I kind of accepted to do this last minute, but um, I was thinking about uh, this quote that's always really meant something to me. Uh, it's from a book called The Prophet, and it's written by Khalil Gibran. Uh, and I won't read it all because it's a lot, but you can maybe hopefully kind of read it. But the basic idea is just saying that work is love made visible and that, you know, you can tell if, if you're not putting yourself and your love into what you're doing, then it's very obvious. And so um, I try to think about that in my daily work, uh, but then that inspires something in me to just think about what you know, as a designer, you're constantly putting yourself in someone else's uh, passion project and you have to uh, really inject yourself, you know, in what they love. And so what is it that keeps me from just thinking about design and always looking at only design? And it, I think it gets a little incestuous uh, for designers sometimes because we just look at what other designers are doing. So what is it that makes me unique and what, what makes my voice special? Uh, so about a year and a half ago, I started asking myself, what is it that I really want to do? Wow, really good timing. Didn't even gesture. <laughs> uh, so these, this is slide's crazy. They only allowed us to do three slides, sorry. Uh, but on the left here, uh, so I just started asking myself, what do I want to do? Uh, and I found that the less I had to think about being perfect and uh, the more that I could just sort of improvise and do what felt right, the better things started to feel. So I, the first thing I started was this little project called Lay Paper, where I was just sitting down and cutting shit out of paper and then putting it in the computer and then posting on the internet and calling it something. Um, so I can make penises or ladders or whatever, you know, whatever the fuck I feel like making. Uh, and then I, uh, this project, Shitty Logos, you may have heard about it, it's a terrible idea. $5, I, I draw you a shitty logo. Really bad, really bad idea. Five dollars is not a lot of money. Uh, but it kind of became popular. Larry is here. He posted it, and then a lot of people bought, bought them for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you can go to the next slide. Uh, but then my most recent venture is a little thing called Good Times Print Shop. And this is uh, in my apartment in Studio Plex. So it's like half my bedroom, half my studio, which I really like because I can just stay up late and kind of make things and be creative and not, you know, think about it. Uh, so this is a risograph. It looks like a laser printer, but it prints like a screen printer, one color at a time. I drove to Tampa and a day in back came back with these two crazy things. They didn't work. It took a lot of you know, uh, tweaking to get them working. But uh, now that I have these presses, I can uh, start to print some of my own work. I was last weekend at Atlanta Zine Fest. If any of you were there, it was really fun. Uh, so that's just a look at some of the things that I made. That's my cat, Barkley. He supervises things, keeps it in order. Um, but it's interesting just thinking about all this. And a year and a half ago, I was just starting to ask myself what, what gives me my voice and uh, just one, one step at a time. Uh, and now I have something that's tangible and that seems to be sticking. So it feels really good. That's, that's it. Mm -hmm.